welcome back to Vegin with Kimmy P. I know it has been a very long time, but we're back. So today we're going to be making one of my most favorite breakfasts. Breakfasts. Oatmeal, if you're gonna guess. I love oatmeal. I've eaten it almost every single day for breakfast for like maybe five years. And it is insanely healthy and insanely filling. Also, this is gonna be like stupid easy to do. So I know there's easy peasy and then there's like stupid easy peasy. It is so easy because I know sometimes people say, oh, eating meatless and animal free meals is super hard i can't think of ideas what do i do and it, it's so simple sometimes but it, it doesn't click until someone like shows you doing it so let's get started we're gonna be doing two two of my favorite oatmeal two 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 okay my two favorite types of oatmeal that i always make is a banana walnut oatmeal and a mixed berry oatmeal. And it is so amazing, it's so simple, no added sugar, and we're just gonna have tons of nutrient-packed ingredients added into this. And it's minimal ingredients, it's so easy. My favorite oats to use are old-fashioned oats. Like, I actually have a super old-school video um, breaking down the different types of oatmeal. It's like years old and awkward, but I will link it down below so I'm, I wear mom jeans now that's like my thing and when I'm in them I feel good I used to cook this in the microwave at work every day and it would absolutely destroy the oatmeal and it doesn't make it as fluffy and full you basically have um, soaking wet oats that are just really hot when you microwave them when you cook it over the stove it lets it actually fully absorb and expand so you're gonna like quadruple your oat um, size compared to microwaving it. Let me show you what we're gonna need. Oh, by the way, I cut off all my hair and it's amazing, life-changing. Um, for each different oatmeal we're making, all we're gonna do is replace one ingredient. So we have our oats, frozen fruit, our walnuts and chia seeds. Oh, and your banana. For the banana one, don't forget the banana. Okay, we're gonna get cooking! So, for the water, we're just gonna add in about one and a quarter cups of water. So we're just adding a little extra water because the chia seeds are gonna absorb some liquid too, so I don't want it to be too thick like a paste. And don't forget to turn on the stove. That is a key part in all of this. And once the water starts to simmer, or you don't have to wait, whatever you wanna do, <laughs> I guess add in your oats. And so I'm just putting in half a cup of oats, basically following the directions that are on the oatmeal bag. So just do that and then stir. Stir like a really cool person your oatmeal. Here is where the magic happens for the banana part. Just, uh, I don't know why I decided to show the banana like that, but anywho, grab your banana, and then this is how I like to cut the banana. I did not realize how awkward it would be to show the banana like this. But anywho, I like to cut it into a bunch of um, small pieces so you get a whole bunch of banana throughout, not like six big chunks. And I like to cook the bananas into the oatmeal because it caramelizes it, it makes it creamy, it gets a little sweeter, and this is how you don't need to add extra sugar into your oatmeal because, like I said, it kind of caramelizes it. So this is my favorite way to cook the banana walnut nut oatmeal. Just And towards the end, I'll add in the chia seeds and the walnuts. I'll add in one to two tablespoons of chia seeds, but one tablespoon is enough. And I'll add in, I don't know, I take a small handful of walnuts, like a very small handful, and I crunch them up and just throw them on in. Walnuts super help with the texture. And while we're on um, the topic of chia seeds and walnuts, I just want to discuss some of the nutritional benefits of them. 
Chia seeds are super high in fiber, protein, omega-3s, calcium, manganese, which is an essential nutrient so your body can actually function. And phosphorus and B vitamins, antioxidants, and all these minerals are super important for bone health. And walnuts are also really high in fiber and protein too. And they have potassium and magnesium, which is important for nerves and muscle and for the brain. Same with the types of fat that are in walnuts and vitamin E, also really great for the brain. And omega-3s, and they have the highest antioxidants out of any other nut. And we're done. So this took about, um, I don't know, less than 10 minutes to make. So here we go, just gonna pour it all out. I'm gonna be honest, it is not the most beautiful um, meal you will make, but I promise you it is going to be sweet and delicious. And look at how much is in here. This whole bowl is full. I um, matched my oatmeal today. That was the plan with this outfit. I'm just kidding. They got all like mushy, like I said, caramelly. So almost a little bit like Bananas Foster. If you want to step up the flavor in this though, a little vanilla extract. Let's elevate this banana oatmeal. Mm. The walnuts just um, break up the mushiness, you know, of oatmeal. On to oatmeal number two. We're gonna make the second batch of oatmeal the same way as we started the first one. So just your cup and a quarter of water, half a cup of oatmeal, and just cook it. You can add in the walnuts and cheese seeds or don't. For this one, I just made a plain batch of oatmeal. So for this berry one, I like to just top it with the frozen berries. There's something, I don't know, refreshing about the frozen berries with the hot oatmeal. But you can also cook the berries in if you want to. If you didn't cook the walnuts in, then you can do a little sprinkle on top. Ta-da! And our ugly one. So these are my two favorites. And I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of peanut butter on top of these. Totally optional, you don't have to, but I'm feeling fancy. It's my fancy face. And for an easy drizzle, I just heated it up for a few seconds in the microwave. So we're all done. Both of these took well under 10 minutes. And I just want to show you how easy it really is to make a filling super nutritious, um, no animal breakfast. Mmm. <laughs> this one's not so pretty, but it's one of my favorite flavors, actually. Thank you for joining me, and I'm back. Let me know if you have any other meals you want to learn how to make. Oh, good. It's so good. Mm. It's also good. Thank you so much again for joining me and let me show you how to make oatmeal. You've been vegged. How to cut apples for saving them. A plus cutting. You're so obnoxious. <laughs> with Kimmy's B. We're vagging out, y'all. <laughs> Ridiculous. No, that's going on there. It better not.